Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we're talking about Brawl Club, the 10 best figures uh, in Brawl Club, uh, which is your PvP. So take note, the top or the 10 best figures here would be best for both either your defensive or offensive lineups. I'm just gonna explain to you to you guys because somebody might not know what your defensive lineup is so your defensive lineup is you set it um because when you're going to be attacked this is going to be your lineup that is going to defend you okay so when you go you have your offensive lineup you basically go to battle here then you set your own lineup. Let's say, for example, let's do a battle. Okay, so if you have noticed, my defensive lineup versus my offensive lineup is different. I actually swapped out uh, Crusos for Rin because Rin, I'm more happy with her in terms of the offensive side, but technically, on the defensive side, um, you won't be able to... She, she's really difficult to defend. So that is the difference between your defensive team and your offensive team. So without further ado, let's go to the top 10 for the 10 best figures. Okay, so most of you guys have seen my lineup already. So some of them were there, um, especially for Zephyr. Zephyr, for me, is going to be your top healer and top energy um giver so if, if there's such a term so she gives health she gives energy in turn you you know you you could you could uh cast or you could activate your ultimates as soon as possible again she's going she she has to be in your pvp team otherwise you're going to be delayed in terms of putting out your ultimates especially if you don't have other um uh, figures that give you energy okay so she's top for healers next is going to be zarola so zarola um she's gonna be top in anything uh top in pve definitely top in pvp because of her dps she is a ranged militarist which is, which keeps her safe especially for defense and again you you really have to bring her in any pvp team because the damage that she brings whether it be on single target or multiple targets is going to be very big <clears throat> okay so next would be megan so megan um as of now is our top uh what they call this our top defender for pvp so defense wise she is really reliable not necessarily for her hp but definitely for her shield her shield is very very massive and she can definitely cast or recast that shield as quickly as possible so as she you know as as you notice when you use her um, even though her shield is still probably in half or in full, she will still cast her shield. So sometimes her HP doesn't even go uh, below 50% or even 75%. So that is how powerful she is. Uh, next on our list would be Crusoe. So a counterpart for her, uh, probably not as good as uh, Megan, but definitely one of the best defenders that we have Um Again, very good on defense and definitely he has AoE and he has lifesteal. That is what why I like him. He is very, very reliable in the front line and uh, Megan and him could be one of the most formidable front lines, especially on defense. Okay, next would be Sakura. Sakura here, she is... Um, very valued for her silence silence is one of the things that is very valuable in pvp because it delays your enemy especially if they're about to cast their ultimate again um she's going to be she's going to give you guys an advantage especially in dealing damage early particularly together with uh, an ultimate skill, especially one that has high DPS. If you're gonna silence the enemy that has the high DPS, there's a big chance that that figure would be delayed in dealing their damage. 
Okay, next would be Ember Airheads. So Ember is one of the top, I think, uh, supports that uh, we have. Especially, she's going to be good in PvP, definitely, because there are limited enemies on the field. And what she does is she can um, heal the the front line the front line that is on the same row as her heal that uh, figure and also heal herself again the, a, a must have especially if you put her behind a defender like megan or crusus she is definitely gonna make sure that that defender is going to be alive okay so next on our list would be erixia so erixia definitely one that can combo with uh, with Zephyr. Shared health is what makes her very, very good. Um, I think she's the only one that does this. Uh, there were a couple of meta teams that are very free-to-play friendly that use her. So definitely use her as part of your defense and offensive teams. Okay, so another uh, recent addition, probably... Um, she, I think he came out last month. So Zhu Liang, um, very valuable for um, shield and being able to delay death in terms of taking away lethal damage. So even in Pv PvE, guys, he is very good and much more in PvP. Um, this would really basically delay uh, a delay death, especially to your glass cannon uh heroes or figures so especially let's say for example if you want to combo him with rin definitely rin will really stay long in the battlefield so uh, most of the figures that will benefit from him is going to be your glass cannons like your melee that are squishy but really deal uh, deal a large amount of damage especially for their ultimate and very high dps Okay, so next would be Lubu. One of the figures that I really underestimated before. Damage boost, attack speed boost, damage to all enemies uh, because of the ultimate of his allies. It triggers damage to all enemies. He, he, he really has a lot of damage, guys, I tell you. So make sure that you put him either on your attack team or your defensive team. Okay, so that's it. Th that is... No, we still have one. I forgot one. And this one is going to be Zhao Yun. So Zhao Yun, just to round out our top 10 for either your defensive lineup or offensive lineup. Um, he has pretty much very big shield. Um, after, after his ultimate, he gets a shield. And he also has a lifesteal. He's a pseudo tank. Kinda in between your melee and tank. He can really tank for you if you don't have any tank to put in front, especially in PvP. But again, he is one amazing um, figure for your PvP lineup. So that rounds out our top 10 best figures for PvP. I'm just gonna say a couple of honorable mentions for PvP. Um, these uh, figures are most likely gonna be used in only in uh, in your offensive lineup they it's a risk bringing them in your defensive lineup because the enemy can adjust their lineup so sometimes they might face a tank that they cannot take out quickly so definitely they're just going to be on your offensive lineup so number one is going to be yuna so yuna's burst damage especially for her ultimate is one I think that she should only be put on the on offensive side, not really on the defensive lineup. Next is also going to be Alfred. Although Alfred has lifesteal, he is also a risk, especially again if he comes, um, if he encounters a very tough shield or a tough defender right in front of him. And the last one. In our honorable mentions is one of my favorites actually to use in PvP, especially for my offensive team. As you've seen there in my lineup, is going to be Rin. So Rin, um, fast attack, high damage in terms of ultimate, and also lifesteal as well. 
Um, advice for her: put her on your offensive team. Bring a healer and bring Zoom Liang with her. Then she'll really wreak havoc on the battlefield so all three of them will mostly be used as an off tank what i mean is they're going to be paired with a tank so i'm gonna bring you back to the lineup that i showed you guys okay guys so this is my lineup as you can see here rin has uh, somebody in front of him so i'm gonna switch uh, his team to the other side so basically her function is going to be an off tank trying to give support to um this one the defender right in right beside her which is megan so megan is going to be after megan and ren is going to be dealing damage to megan so that she can chip off um megan bad megan uh, as quickly as possible so that is how i use her in terms of offense so let's take a look at how this battle plays out so as you can see um so rin tries to deal as quick damage as possible so on the other side we take out the back line immediately so we have zarola so again rin does really do a lot of damage especially if she's unhindered she is not attacked and all she does is damage so again that is it for um the top 10 best figures for pvp so hopefully guys i could i you, you could have uh, picked up some tips there for pvp especially for your defensive lineup and also for your offensive lineup Anyway, guys, um, for those who are here, please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. And take care, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.